we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Jackson McCormick is on the field to kick this one off, and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started. He'll return it from the three. He's to the 20. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. And down he goes at the 45-yard line. I like how the offense is using the pass to get him involved. He's explosive, and you just want to get the ball in his hands. From their own 45-yard line, first down. He's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. Fumble. It's picked up by the defense. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He's got it with room to run. Brought down at the 45. First and 10. Ball on their own 45. On the ground, inside. And he's tackled at the 48-yard line. That's good for a of three yards. That'll make it second to seven. on the run and he's going to come up with a sack boy this pass rush is sometimes scary they're really getting after the quarterback now it's third down nine to go ball on their own 46 Now the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. Jackson is back awaiting the punt. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. And they make the stop at the 30-yard line. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. They come out in a five-wide set. Taken down at the 40-yard line. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. He didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. From their own 40-yard line. Second down. Tackle at about the 37-yard line. Five wide. 
Looks to him again, complete. He's tackled right around the 48-yard line. That's good decision-making there and mechanics by the quarterback. He knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but he looked off the other receivers first. From the 48-yard line, first down. He's going to try and scramble. They'll bring him down around the 37-yard line. That makes it first and 10. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Tackle made at the 42. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. They go to the ground game. Nice run to the left there. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it second and two. the middle for a nice game. From the 44-yard line, it's first down. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 38-yard line. Pitches back. Nice gain as he works the right side. From the 32-yard line, first down. He scrambled. He's taken down around the 20-yard line. his way out to about the 12. We played one quarter. This one's scoreless. Goes at the 11-yard line. Now player down and his teammates obviously worried after that play. This is the ninth play of this drive. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That brings us fourth and three. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. The kick is up, and he's got it. He's to the 20. Across the 30. Brought down at the 36-yard line. 
The offense comes back out, and as I'm sure you'll remember, their last possession ended in a lost fumble. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for a game of five yards. That'll make it so it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Brought down at the 35-yard line. Gaining 24 yards. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. The Warhawks, he's quarterback, taken off earlier. Down on the sideline right now. It doesn't look like he's in that much pain, and I would bet that we'll see him back in the game before the day is over. He makes his way to about the 18. That makes it first and 10. bring him down in the backfield and that run got stuffed yeah you're right the defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there not much there for the tailback on the option Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Nice play to set up first and goal. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the five and looking to cap this off with a touchdown. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Touchdown, Arkansas State. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was an eight-play, 63-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. So the score now, 7-3. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. They come out on an empty backfield. That's a great tackle at the 37. First and 10. Ball on their own 37. On the ground with the tailback. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. He picked up around three yards on the draw play. The Warhawks taking their first time out of the half. He's scrambling, and he's tackled at the 43. They're about four yards away here on third down. And they get the sack. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. The Red Wolves will use their first time out of the half. Jackson, back to return it. He drops it. That's a tough play. 
Whether you lose the ball or not, it can mess with your head when that happens. That return man is lucky that his team got the ball back or he would have heard an earful from the coach. Actually, he probably will anyway. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And a quick throw. And they make the stop around the 39-yard line. Call it a game of 11 yards. First down. From their own 39-yard line. First down. Arkansas State holds a four-point lead. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He steps out at the 41-yard line. They just couldn't get to the quarterback in time. That's one of the things that can happen if a defense brings extra guys to rush the quarterback. The offense will have favorable matchups to get the ball downfield. From the 41-yard line, it's first down. tries to buy some time looking for the corner he's at the 20 and he's finally shoved out at the 10 first and 10 let's see if they can build off that great run Steps out of bounds at about the five-yard line. That brings him second and five. Green nine, green nine. And he's taken down at the two. Arkansas State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Grabs it and hammered right there. Second down and nine to go. All on their own 26. distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. And he tackles him hard at the 32-yard line. Well, we've played a half of football. The Red Wolves is in front by 11. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This lead at halftime is not insurmountable. You know, you watched the first half, and I really felt as if this team played hard. They played with a lot of energy and a lot of emotion. Just to be honest about it, David, the coaching staff seemed to be a half step behind. The other guy was ahead of them. They knew their tendencies. Second half, you expect to see them break some of those tendencies? Sometimes you have to. I mean, sometimes you come out and obviously you're, you put your game on tape. They, coaches know what you're going to come out and what to expect from you. And sometimes quarterbacks, 
They don't like to push the ball down the field. They like to take the easy stuff. You got to take it away. Take away what they do best. And you could tell the first half, they weren't ready for what came their way. Now it's your, it's your job at the half to come in, put a plan together, be more aggressive. You're down two scores now. You can't afford to be cautious. Put something together to come out to have success in the second half. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio best seat in the house. It belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Red Wolves continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's on the run. He's tackled at about the 29-yard line. That's a game of four. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on their own 29. 36 to Mike. Head two. Tackled after decent pickup. general for this offense. He can beat you in any number of ways. From their own 40-yard line. First down. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Strike to the receiver. He's knocked out of bounds at the 46. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds. At about the 39-yard line. Well, that was a perfect time to call a screen pass there by the offense. The defense had pinned their ears down, and they were coming after the quarterback. They were out of position. The quarterback waited just to the right time to drop it down to the running back for their big play. It's first and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. They'll bring him down around the 37-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second. And this play is number eight on the drive. He's hit and taken down. That's a nice six-yard gain. Well, the defense decided to sit back in zone. And anytime you're a quarterback and you see zone, you want to get rid of the ball quickly if a man is open on that slant route because it could go for a big play. But the defense does a good job of keeping it in check and making the tackle. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Tenth play of the drive. Five wide. This one's going deep to the end zone. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Second and 10. Ball on the 25. Here we go, here we go. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. Lost two on the play. That brings up third and 12. And this is the 12th play of the drive. And he's going to 
come up with a sack. Total loss of 10 yards. That makes it fourth and long. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 22. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That'll make it third and nine. He has some room. Runs it right. Nice pickup. It looked like the defense That's might have been expecting the pitch yards. on the option. But instead, First the quarterback down. kept it and converted here on third down. First down, go 10 to go. Four. Ball on their own 36. He might not be able to get the pass off. And he hits him hard at the 30. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He's got it with room to run. Tackle made around the 44-yard line. They'll line it up again on third down. That makes it 33. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Quick thinking there. You know, they're liable to put the ball in the air on third, so it's a smart play to keep your hands ready. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. And this one is a beauty. Makes it to the 22-yard line for Arkansas State. Their pass rush has really been impressive today, Kirk. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to it. Well, when this offense does complete a pass, they're not doing that badly. Yeah, pretty decent average. So if they can do more of that, it'll swing the pressure around. The guys lining up on defense have really contributed to this two-possession lead. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. He's taken down around the 32-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 32. That's three down and one to go. The Red Wolves in front by 11. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. He's scrambling. Decides to slide. Herring gains about six yards on the scramble. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He chucks it downfield. Through his hands. How intended to see the play. That'll bring up third and four. Three down, three down. Mike, 36. Green eye, green. Flares it and it almost had it intercepted. How the intended to see the play. Fourth down. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. 
Jackson fields it at the 24, gets to about the 37-yard line. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's Crystal check foul. out the penalty. Clipping. Receiving team. Not a bad return. Return for a gain of 13 yards. From their own 37-yard line, first down. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. At the 30. There's a fumble. And they fall on the loose ball. A lot of guys in the defensive backfield are ball hawks. And the safety showed it there by pouncing on the football. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. run to the outside around five yards there on the option keep there's a player hurt it doesn't look to be that bad they're about four yards away here on second down well after that injury we'll get to see the backup quarterback here makes it to the 12 yard line They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. So it's fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. The Arkansas State to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Less than three minutes in the game. They go to the screen here, and the halfback's got it. And they push him out to 37-yard line. Can't get away from the pressure. Loss of seven yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. And two. Go. And he's tackled at about the 47-yard line. He airs it out. Dropped. It's second and ten. Ball in their own 47. Play action. Now he's on the move. And they make the stop right around the 44 yard line. Kill, kill. Two. 
There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. False start. Offense. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. So the penalty makes it third and five. out here brought down around the 35 yard line just under two to go in the game and down he goes right around the 18 yard line lets it fly He's got a touchdown. And that touchdown gets these guys right back in the game. We're looking at a one-score ball game now. And he adds the extra point. recover the onside kick. Well, it's a nice job there by the return team to recover the football. Now they just want to run the clock out. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Tackle at the 28-yard line. He gets another set of downs and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. From the 28-yard line, it's first down. And he's taken down at about the 17-yard line. That's a nice job by the quarterback to pitch the ball. And it got him a first down. The Warhawks are going to call their second timeout. Gets out to around the nine. A gain of eight on the carry. The Warhawks using their third and last timeout. That makes it second and two. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. We have less than a minute to go. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. This one's in the books. The Red Wolves with the victory. 17-10. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? Well, we got about what we thought we'd get. Two evenly matched teams fighting hard in a very close game. Arkansas State made the plays they had to to win this game. And that's what it often comes down to with two evenly matched teams. Whoever comes through in a clutch gets the W. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. From Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.